Hello everybody and welcome back to a new episode of Master Horizon where we are slowly increasing our mass readiness while the others are skyrocketing away. We could actually um, um, keep up with the Japanese. Frog Rocket, an audio recording made by your agency's recent Venusian impact that has been sampled by popular Frog Rock band. I don't know what Frog Rock is, I just know Rock. Following the success of their album, the Winds of Venus, the band has made a generous donation to the agency. Thank you. That's pretty cool of you. You know, is this something we can do for you then? No, sadly not. Okay, something we still can... something new we can do? Did we get any new Maestro missions? Right, we're doing that um, rover thingy, right? Yep. I guess we could do multi crew orbit. I guess if the Japanese aren't doing it. Yeah, let's do multi crew orbit. Yeah, let's take the standard edition and let's build it. First X ray de detected from a black hole! Your X-ray telescope mission has detected the first ever X-ray emissions um, emission from, from Sagittarius A, so a massive black hole at the center of Milky Way. Cool. <laughs> Man, I love space. Okay, the Russians are doing space telescope in 21 months. Ooh. Space telescope, that's that thing. Okay, so we won't beat him at that. Maybe we can um, beat everyone else at those Mars, um, Mars things there. Alright. Why oh, is so far back? And those things are... You know, like... Oh, the, the Chinese already have um, a ground habitat researched. But not a rover? What the hell are those Chinese guys doing over there? Russia Field 7 Orbiter. Sucks to be you, I guess. I mean, you know, I want to be like... Yeah, it's of course sad if something space related goes wrong, but I have to take every setback I can get because we are in last place, so yeah. I just have to be happy about it, I guess, so to have a better chance at winning. Yeah, let's take the Wyvern. We can level it up. Man, one year. And we researched the Hermes. Okay, now we have the Hermes, which is like a whole vehicle. Let's see if that actually will help us. Ooh, I want that! I want that! Okay, what do we need for that? A space player. Alright, yeah, let's get that. I want that mass building. That could be like the thing that saves us. Alright, robotic rover. Ooh, I like that. Better reliability. You know what? That's actually pretty awesome. We, could, we can go for a science boost, science training. Yeah, let's launch in May. Okay, the Japanese have reached 25 percent mass readiness. I was talking too soon, I guess. Oh man, the Chinese have 35 percent mass readiness. Okay, funding review. 2000, 2007. Our robotic Mars rover. Okay, Russians are doing modular space station 19 months. Okay, Mars rover. Alright, good conditions. Continue. Yeah, this won't blow up. 7% chance to blow up. Like, no 1% chance to blow up. That was pretty close! But we level up the Y1 again, make it make it even more reliable. Alright. Enter mass transfer orbit. <laughs> you did it heat shield. You know, hopefully this means that we don't have to um, deal with heat anymore if this thing has a heat shield on there actually. Because this is supposed to like block all of the heat, you know. 
Willst du das? Oh, ideal alignment, an additional com. Why are we getting so much coms? Ah, so we can spend them. Okay. Oh, no, no, the last turn. Alright, this should work. Or not? Yeah, that's what he said. We have bonus navigation, amazing. We have another bonus navigation, a lucky drift. Okay, we ended the transfer orbit. Dwarf Planet Study Proposal. A team of researchers have proposed using your space telescope launched in the X-ray telescope mission. To study the dwarf planets Pluto and Aries and learn, learn more about these distant objects. The project will require funding, but has a chance of producing additional science. Yeah, let's prove it. Alright, we'll get to report in six months. Great Americans with the Space Station 3. Great for them, I guess. But bad for us. Alright, let's launch multi crew orbit. Okay, let's hire some astronauts. Bella Ackermann? No, Dumont. Eike Dumont. Eike Dumont, I don't know how. But Bella Ackermann. Kanako Navarro. Plus 10% science, you watch. Okay, cool. I know Romeo Williams. Yeah, let's take um, Kanako Navarro and Romeo Williams. Yeah, confirm. Training, yeah, payload reliability training. Launch date in January. Alright, alright. The Grand Tour. We're Jupiter, hopefully we don't get tried by radiation. Yep, okay, we're gonna get tried by radiation. Yippee. Yeah, let's do this. We'll accept that. Ouch. Okay, let's do it this way. Let's gather some more data. And then let's recharge power ones. Stop irradiating my probe. Additional navigation, great. Okay. There's a lot of radiation right there. But we can keep it down, luckily. Navigation, it's perfect, you know. I always like um, better than neutral outcomes. Hmm. Should we shoot for the bonus objective or should we just complete the task now? Because you know, I don't want to risk radiation like really getting to us, but. Same time, we could also shoot for bonus objective. That would be great. I don't think we can actually do it. Let's just complete the task. 
We've got what we came for. No need to risk anything. Alright. Next map. The Grandest Tour. Your PR team has. UPR team are eager to run a publicity event promoting the success of the Grand Tour mission so far. This would result in an immediate 250 support boost for the agency while it is basically nothing. However, members of the team have suggested that waiting until the next successful planetary visit would result in an even greater boost. Yet, they warn that should the mission fail in the next phase, no publicity event will be possible, resulting in no boost. No, I'm going to delay the event. And we got Space Plan Runway research. Okay, now what else do we need? Conference center and centrifuge thingy. Why do we need that? I don't think so. And this one we might. Alright, now we can send another mission. Oh, to Mars. Yeah, to Mars. Or oh, is there like any other. like a Mars preparation? Mars tech test, yes. It's only by 1%. Oh no, this doesn't mean we're done. This just means we're like, oh, this is just a um, trajectory correction, right? Yeah, this isn't like um, the last mission. Okay, let's hope this doesn't drift away. Ooh, I drift will decay. That's weird. Do we need enough thrust, like, to... Okay, it's vital. And those two are just of things, but do you think this is vital for the mission? Flashbacks from that moon landing where the drift like kills the astronauts. I don't want that to happen to like anything. No new findings in Dolphin study. A recently approved proposal to study Pluto and Eris using a space telescope has ended in disappointment. After no new discoveries were made, oh, in disappointment after no new discoveries were made. However, the correct data has been used to bolster understanding of dwarf planets, ensuring that no science has been lost due to the project. Okay. Okay, budget review 2008. Yeah, get a bit of support. Multi crew orbit, okay, launch mission. Yep, yeah, let's continue. Neutral outcome, okay, perfect. Okay, we have achieved we have to achieve Earth orbit now. You know what, let, let's utilize the humans. If humans do something, they always do it better than if the machines are doing it in this game, which is like probably not very accurate actually. Dead. Hmm, what's the positive outcome? Look at that, little animation. Software optimization. Okay, man, I didn't know we had a program on board.
Ja, let's do this. Let's resist. And an additional um, data. Cool. Alright, now we just have to ping our location and then we have a bonus objective. Man, success. Cool. Alright, now we have to we enter the atmosphere of the Earth. So we have to keep our heat in check. And let's cool down for now. <laughs> Let's do this. Ouch. Hey, let's do this it. <laughs> That's a lot of heat. We'll have to accept it. Okay, one heat, that's cool. We can deal with one heat. It almost failed. But it did but it did work out in the end, so it's fine. Two heat. Yeah, that's a bit warmer, but still something we can deal with. Accepted, but in but we got additional data, so oh man, it's weird. Are you kidding me? I guess we get the objective this way. Oh man, accepted. At least they didn't try to crisps. And we got fourth. I mean, yeah, I mean, we knew that already, but. So we get a bit of science and um, boost from it. Okay, the Russians completed the space, so let's go. Alright, next mission ready, um, next phase ready in our Mars rover. Oh, and we get actually another mission on Earth. So, um, let's do this Martian water study. Yep, let's check the increased power. One payload. Yeah, so continue mission. The robotic rover on Mars. Okay, we have to manage drift. And how many like drift do we have? Oh, right, now it starts to get like into the right again. Okay, an additional com. Mm. Let's accept it for now. And we lose five drift a turn. Oh my god, my! How are we supposed to keep up with that? What do you mean, last turn? Data. Oh my god, it almost failed. Okay, man, 
And now we have to manage drift and heat. Great. Can we like turn on SAS and let the computer do it all? Do you you have a heat shield? Why do you have to manage heat? Oh my god. But at least the drift doesn't increase. Oh no, this generates heat actually. Let's freeze this thing, this thing, so we can stay cold longer. Oh, but the good thing is we just need to get navigation, nothing else. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? I had everything. It, we, we still had a couple of turns left, and actually, um, we ha we um, had like um, no, um, we didn't melt. So yeah, let's try it again. Oh my god, my why are why are my people so incompetent? <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna end this episode here for now, guys. Let's see if we get the next episode of whatever I'll do. Bye.